Okay, let's talk a little bit about injection. Um, several types of injectors. You see these out here on the static display. These are Venturi. They're suction type. If you know how an old carburetor, those of you who are older know how a carburetor works. You've got these little jets, right? And uh, this is a jet. It looks like a jet engine, actually. You've got water coming into this thing, it, and then it goes through this orifice here that's small, and when it goes through there, it comes at a faster velocity. It comes in slow, it exits fast, and what happens when you get uh, that type of an arrangement in a carburetor? Right? It sucks up the gas, right? It sucks the gas in. In this case, it's not gas, it's water, or fertilizer solution. And so that's what we're, we have a pressure drop across here. So it sucks it up through this, and you see it, this is how it's actually arranged. This is your main line. When you want to use it, you turn that off, it comes through here, sucks up, it forms a venturi or suction, a uh, drop in pressure, sucks this up and off to the races. Really neat. The only issue here with this, guys, is that this, this, they're designed for a certain volume of water. If you don't put enough water through there, you can't get the velocity to make this suction thing work. Doesn't work, okay? So, that's the limitation of these. You've got to size, you've got to size it to your system. If you change your system, you gotta, you've got to uh, get another one of these that matches it. I know I've done it, I've made the mistake. You know, it's just, just understand how, you're, how these things are to be used. All right, these are pump actuated injectors. This is probably the, the one that I like the most. It's more expensive, wouldn't you know? But it actually, it works on water pressure. As long as you've got the system charged, it's going to pump and it's going to, it's, it actually pumps and it sucks up the, uh, the nutrient solution. This is a homemade device that we made here at the Noble Foundation, gosh, 20 years ago. And it works really well. It's just an old pump up sprayer. I've substituted the wand with a uh, little intake manifold here, and uh, <laughs> I put my Miracle Grow in there, and I pump it up, turn it on. Guess where it goes? It goes into the system. <laughs> it's kind of fail proof and foolproof too, but uh, if you're not careful, you don't wash this out real well, you know, all, some of this will rust up, so just keep in mind. If you're really interested in building one of those, it's in our raised bed gardening manuals online, www.noble.org. Dilution types, these are the cheapest types. Basically, you fill this, water comes in, you put your dry solution in there, it wets it, it goes into solution, and it comes back out. Same way with this one. This is an easy flow. Water comes in, it mixes, and it goes back out. I mean, they're, the only problem there is, is you don't, when is all the solution gone? Because it, you've always got water in that tank. When is, when is the fertilizer injected? You just kind of have to taste, no, don't do that. If it's fertilizer, it's okay. Obviously, with uh, chlorine or, or acid in the water, don't do that. Okay. So the ideal thing, if you really are serious about gardening, you're going to get something like this, or you're going to plumb it to where you can use those inventory types accurately. All right. There is a fer fertigation calculator online. You just type in the crop. These are for vegetable crops. You type uh, the crop right here. Uh, it, it shows the bed spacing and... Uh, you put in how much fertilizer is in the soil, how much the, uh, the soil test shows, and it'll tell you how much fertilizer to put on any given amount of row every week. Pretty cool. Go back a slide. Right here? Mm -hmm. Right. It does help. But there's always, you better use a whole lot of it because if you don't, you know, it's always going to look kind of the same. Yeah. And... It, it, it starts off and then it gradually gets um, dilute, dilute, you know, over time it, it's, 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 it's not a straight curve, but uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to judge how much. Now the manufacturer might tell you how to use it properly, but just understand it doesn't go in in a set amount of time. It's usually, you know, over a, a given amount of time, depending on how much goes through the, uh, the, the, the unit. Okay. Uh, to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and move on. We've just got a few more slides. These are some fertigation tips. The bottom line is, I guess probably the, the one thing here, guys, is that your injection time, if you're putting fertilizer in or you're putting something to control the algae or the bacteria in the water or the precipitates, keep them from setting, you want to, you want to be sure to leave it on long enough so the stuff gets to the end of the line. It, it, you, just because it's going in doesn't mean it gets there automatically. It flows through the water. So your injection time must be equal or greater than the pass-through. 
the water pass through time or the fertilizer that's in the water, okay? Usually it's going to be 30 minutes for most systems, but it depends on the size of the system. Okay, I'm not going to talk about this. Um, there are, in your book, it tells you how to do that. If you want to try to, uh, if you want to develop a, uh, an injection uh, schedule to use chlorine, just regular household bleach to keep your, uh, your system clean, keep the algae out of it, you can do it. This is a swimming pool tester. Uh, you can buy, and it'll, by a colorometer test, uh, you can know how to, uh, uh, to do that properly by using that, that instrument. Algae is a problem in, in uh, surface water, again. You can treat the water by putting some copper sulfate, different copper compounds in it. Uh, be careful what you're doing, though. If you've got fish in the water, you better know what you're doing because you'd kill the fish. And then, again, if you want to inject acid to lower the pH so that the magnesium and the calcium will not precipitate out and form scale on the walls of your pipe, if you keep the, the water low enough, the pH low enough, by injecting acid, they will stay in solution. You won't have the problem. That means you have to have an injector, and you've got to know how to do that. Most people use uh, muriatic, swimming pool, <laughs> uh, acid. Um, you can use phosphoric, enfuric. There's different types. It's, this works very well, but you just need to know what you're doing. Okay, a few more chemigation tips. There's, there's the Clorox. Uh, 